The top 10 slashers are based on the killer icons from the slasher genre. So if you're wondering why this icon or this icon didn't make the list, that's because they're not slashers. And this list only includes the slashers from the slasher genre of horror movies. This list is not the opinions of Horror Squad and is in fact the opinions of over 100 different YouTube users top 10 lists and you can see their channels right behind me. If you're wondering how we put this list together, just watch the intro of the top 10 paranormal movies where I explain the point system. Just click on the box to my left to take it to that video. We brought in an all-star cast of special guests to help out in the video, who also took part in the voting process. So don't forget to subscribe to any one of those cool channels. Number 10, Victor Crowley. Victor Crowley had been cursed even before being born. From the cause of an affair involving his parents, born with tumor disease, Crowley grew up bullied because of his looks. On Halloween night, a group of bullies threw sparklers at his house, but one of the sparklers got out of control and burned Crowley inside his house, which eventually resulted in his death, or did it? Crowley would return from the dead, hunting the bayous of Honey Island Swamps of New Orleans. He's like the original Hills Have Eyes and like Wrong Turn kind of relative. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but he was a pretty wicked guy. He was he's the first like hatchet hatchet and his thing was hatchet. Number nine, Candyman. The Candyman is an artist and son of a slave who had his hands severed and then was murdered because of a love affair. The Candyman would then become a famous local urban legend. And legend has it, if you say his name five times in front of a mirror, the Candyman will then appear and will murder the summoner from the hook attached to his bloody stump of his right arm. Number 8. Harry Warden Harry Warden, aka The Miner, was a hard-working miner for the Hanager Mine in a small town of Valentine Bluffs. Two other miners failed to check the levels of the methane gas and instead took off early to the Valentine Dance. This resulted in an explosion and seven miners trapped inside the mine. The end result, only Harry Warden survived by eating the other miners. Harry then hit the streets and exacted revenge on the two miners. Harry Warden swore if the Valentine Dance ever came back, he would come back. Number 7, Norman Bates. Ah! Norman Bates was an American serial killer and the owner of the Bates Motel. Norman suffers with multiple personality disorder. As Norman, he's your typical friendly innkeeper. But in his other personality, he takes the appearance of his mother, killing any woman that sexually arouses him. Norman Bates is considered the first actual slasher. The original slasher? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, what's not to like about this guy? I mean, he's a likeable killer, that's the thing, like, you like this guy, even you watch it again, you know he's a killer, you're like, ah, oh. he's such a lovely, he's, he's just trying to, you know, make mom happy, trying to make, you know, mother happy. Number 6, Chucky. Charles Lee Ray, aka the Lakeshore Strangler, was fatally shot by a cop. Dying, Charles Lee Ray transferred his soul to a nearby good guy doll. Now as Chucky the Good Guy doll, he must transfer his soul to the first person he revealed himself to, or he's stuck in the Good Guy doll forever. Hey, absolutely creepy. There's something about a doll that walks and talks and can kill people that is possessed by Charles Lee Ray. Creepy as hell. Number 5. Ghostface. Ghostface, aka the Woodsboro Killer. Unlike any of the other killers on this list, there is no one face behind the mask. The person behind the mask can be any one of your friends or family members, making you trust nobody, which is definitely to Ghostface's advantage. To date, there has been seven different Ghostface killers, all of them deceased. Well, I can appreciate it for what it is, and I do have all the Scream movies. I do get in a mood to watch them. But, um, like how they rehyped it and made it into that MTV show, and they made this um, series on MTV that I'm extremely underwhelmed with. And I just think that they should leave the whole Scream thing well enough alone. They should just let it be what it is and move on to other things. Number four, Leatherface. Leatherface is the member of the Texas cannibal family, the Sawyers. Formerly a butcher, Leatherface's job is to chop up any poor victims who make their mistakes in coming across the Sawyer clan. 
Real name Bubba Sawyer would wear real human skin as his mask, which were made of from his victims. Each mask would express his personality. I absolutely love those movies. They are absolutely amazing. But the way that he goes around and stalks them and kills them is just absolutely amazing. And the sound of a chainsaw will freak me out every time. If I go into a haunted house and there's somebody with a chainsaw, I'm guaranteed to pee my pants. Number three, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, aka the Springwood Slasher, was a notorious child killer, but then the townsfolk took justice in their own hands and torched Freddy Krueger alive, frying him to death. However, Freddy Krueger returned as a dream demon, hunting down all the children of Elm Street. He, he invented his own weapon! He, he, he made the, you know, razor, you know, knife glove. Incredible! And not only that, but he's the only one on this list that actually has that supernatural ability to go into your dreams. So not only will he fuck you up, but he'll fuck you up in inventive, weird, fucked up ways. He'll use your own fears against you, because he's fucking Freddy Krueger. Number two, Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees was born with a facial deformity, which resulted in him getting bullied at Camp Crystal Lake. He tried to escape from his bullies by running, but he was caught and then thrown into the lake, and then he disappeared. Most believe that he drowned, including his mother. The camp counselors who were supposed to be watching were off having sex. Jason would return years later, haunting the grounds of Crystal Lake, before getting killed in Part 4. However, he would return from the dead in Part 6, and is truly even more unstoppable than before. Um, I guess you could call me a Jason fan. I, you know, he had mom issues, uh, he was not the best swimmer. But, okay, nobody's perfect. Number one, Michael Myers. In order to have a number one horror movie slasher, you have to have number one horror movie slasher music to go with it. And Michael Myers and the movie Halloween definitely have both. No, Dad. Jason is the number one horror movie slasher, but Michael Myers has some kick-ass music. <laughs> Michael Myers, a.k.a. The Shape, at the age of six, killed his oldest sister, Judith Myers, with motives nobody knows. He was sent to a psychiatric hospital where he was watched by Dr. Loomis. After 15 years, Michael Myers escaped. But to where? The answer? He came home, to Haddonfield, to bring carnage on Halloween, chasing his sister Lori and killing whoever gets in his way. To date, Michael Myers has not been captured. Michael fucking Myers! intelligent dude breaks out of a mental hospital fucking drives around no problem driving uh very stealthy as shit there's something creepy about michael myers the way he stalks the babysitters and all that and the fact that no matter how fast you run and he is completely walking he is always right there behind you and he cannot be killed no matter what you do he doesn't die michael myers has a mission He's gonna kill the bloodline, and anybody else gets in the way of that is getting fucked up. 